so there's been a lot of news recently. Uh, there's a new open source model out called Mistral 7 billion. It's the best 7 billion parameter model to date, um, as it says here. And it's also Apache 2. The license is Apache 2, so developers can modify the code and use it as they w would like. And what's interesting as well is that the company, Mistral AI, they were actually criticized a few months back um, by a lot of people in the community for raising a humongous amount of money, um, as you can see through this article. Um, they had a 113 million seed round. You know, a lot of people wondering what the hell are they going to be doing with this, this money. Um, so I guess now we're finding out. Um, um, so let's see, what, what exactly is happening here? So Mistral is a 7.3 billion parameter model. It outperforms Llama 2, 13 billion, Llama 1, 34 billion on many benchmarks. And amazingly, it even approaches code Llama 7 billion performance in code, while remaining good at English tasks. So it's even more generalizable than uh, code Llama. Um, so they say it use, uses uh, grouped query attention for faster inference and also sliding window attention. We'll get to that a bit later. Um, but honestly, guys, the, the performance here is just it's a bit ridiculous. So here we get into the performance details. We have the MMLU and the knowledge and the reasoning and comprehension. So we're comp comparing it to three other models, Llama 2, uh, Llama 2 7 billion, Llama 2 13 billion, and Llama 1 34 billion. Billion. So Mistral 7 billion comes out on top and in parity with Llama 134 billion on reasoning, but on all these other benchmarking tasks, it comes out as number one, which is just so amazing. I mean, Llama 2 just came out not too long ago, um, and Mistral AI already have this 7 billion model that comes on parity with a 13 billion. <laughs> Uh, model on things like knowledge and reasoning comprehension and math the the level of um, advancement here is just um, so surprising so here we can see the the benchmarks um, how they categorized by um, so I won't go too much into this but you can just see the ones that are zero shot the ones that are five shot eight shot etc um, and then here we get into more of the uh, um, even more benchmarks um, it comes out on top on so many of these, um, and remember, it's it's only half the size of the of the Llama 2 13 billion. So it comes out on top on the MMLU, um, and then on human at eval, the code Llama 7 billion is square pretty much. Uh, um, on top, uh, it it uh, outperforms that, and also on the MBPP test, um, it outperforms it on that as well. Um, but on math, it does better. So here they break it down for us, the sort of performance to, sorry, not performance, the cost, um, the efficiency ratio, where you get the performance to model parameter size. So by the time, so like at 60% MMLU, um, the 7 billion uh, model is competing with Llama 2, which is at a 23 billion parameter size at that point. And here it's at, and it looks like 69% uh, reasoning. Uh, Mistral is competing with uh, Llama 2 at 38 billion. So it's a 5.4 times performance uh, efficiency, which is honestly so surprising here. Yeah. And you get you think it's surprising, but then now let's get to how they did it. So they have your flash and furious, very nice. So it was obviously they they're giving a hint to uh, flash attention, which is um, by Triadal. Um, he was the one, he was the one who spearheaded this uh, um, idea of flash attention. And flash attention is all about finding um, speed ups and efficiencies in um, um, the block the block sizes. So here it says, seven, Mistral 7 billion uses sliding window attention, SWA mechanism, um, in which uh, layer attends, in which each layer attends to the previous 4,096 hidden states. So here 
this is the one of the papers they linked. This is the long former paper. It's the long document transformer paper. So here is the an idea. So here we have the full um, enter the path to attention. We have distillated um, sliding window, and we have the global sliding window. So here we have this. You can see the sliding window uh, attention uh, pattern, and again it's it's a blockwise a very blockwise um attention mechanism um which it gets um it's it it goes across the blocks in order to better generalize and more efficient efficiently uh approximate um what is it the knowledge around um the knowledge of the the model compared to this one or that one um again this one is so much more let me zoom in so much more efficient and how it uh, it's modeling uh, the data and sort of generalizing to it and these are other techniques but in this paper this is the one they're using for um, their blockwise attention continuing on here um, they say in practice changes made to flash attention x formers yield at two times a 2x speed improvement for sequence length of 16,000 with a window of 4,000. Um, and they're giving a shout out to Triadal and uh, Daniel Haziza. Um, so the sliding window attention exploits the stacked layers of a transformer to attend in, in the pa to attend in the past beyond the window size. Um, so a token i at layer k attends to tokens i minus the sliding window and um, slash i at layer k minus one. And then finally, a fixed tension span means we can limit our, our cache to a size of sliding window tokens using rotating buffers. Um, this saves half the cache memory for inference on sequence length of 8,192. Um, and again, so here they're getting into sort of how they also achieve this. Um, they did some fine tuning um, for minstrel, minstrel um, um, instruct, and they throw in some punches here. When they fine tuned it, they fine tuned it, uh, fine -tuned it sorry, on. Uh, instruction data sets publicly available on Hugging Face, and there's no tricks, no proprietary data used. Um, so again, very very impressive um, compared to a lot of these. Um, so um, a lot of these other models, they use um, they have a tendency to have proprietary data. Okay, so let's go to the GitHub page where they will get an, a better grasp of what's happening with the with how this thing works, because again, this this thing is so phenomenal, so of course we get the installation, what, what. There's many videos out there that teach you how to download and install this thing. Um, but let's get to the sliding, sliding window attention, so here's a better idea on how it works. So here we have basic attention, um, this sort of, um, this sort of uh, attention mechanism ensures that the model is causal, and it can that it can only use information from the past to predict the future. Now if we go to the sliding window again, it's like a sliding window. It says here, note that tokens outside the sliding window still influence the next word prediction. At each layer, information can move forward by W tokens at most after two attention layers. And then this is the rolling buffer cache that they are using. Um, but again, the biggest biggest thing is the sliding window attention which allow them to get such amazing um, efficiencies and then I think another further very important question is how long um, did they train it for because that's what I was wondering is like when did they train this thing how long did they train it for um, and we did get some a bit of details here where they said under the Mistral AI first steps they said this is a result of three months of intense work um, in which they assembled the Mr. AI team and rebuilt top performance ML op stacks. We'll see how this transforms the open source uh, um, landscape. Um, and I honestly, it's already transforming it in a way. Look, as, let's go on X or Twitter and see what exactly people have said. Here we have a tweet where someone is saying that after spending just 20 minutes with 
Mistral AI 7 billion model. I'm shocked at how unsafe it is, and it's very rare these days to see a new model so readily to reply even the mal most malicious instructions. I did check out what they were saying. They did cite, um, they did sh share a spreadsheet, and also did try it myself. You could ask it very, very sensitive things, and it will give you a very direct answer on how to do it. Um, you know, you can use your imagination on what you can ask, and it will give you an answer. Now, a lot of the times the answer is quite um, childish, or not childish, but it's not super duper advanced or effective as one might think. Again, these are just LLMs, but still, it does give you an answer. Another cool nugget was that they released, um, when they released this thing, they actually linked uh, Turrent Magnet, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, unbelievable um, stuff from this uh, team.